The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Bull Bear, Nadex Options Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 21. You get the Nasdaq off 48. S&P's down 15. Gold contract down a dollar, trading at 12.35 an ounce. We have silver flat, $14.79 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 53 cents, $66.98. Cents. We'll get those oil numbers uh, this morning. 10.30, you got it. Oil got smoked yesterday it in did. a big way. It was up like a buck early today, though, so it's it's got a little volatility. Big time. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note up nine ticks, 118.18.30 a bond up uh, 18.6, 138.24. Now, both notes and bonds yesterday, folks, they went topside, had monster volume, gave up half their, their price, but guess what? They're going right after it again, and they have volume behind the move. King Dollar. King Dollar's up 312 ticks. King Dollar took out its October high, failed. Really going to be interesting here to see what ends up happening with King Dollar. We're at 96.02. The euro is trading at 114 to one U.S. dollar, the yen is trading at 112 to one U.S. dollar. You got an Alexa, right? I do have an Alexa. Alexa, buy me a thousand shares of Amazon right now. Oh, we don't have Alexa in the office, though. Thank goodness, otherwise you might be an owner right now. Guess what, folks? <laughs> if you have an Alexa, okay, and you have a TD Ameritrade Think or Swim account, you are going to be trading on Alexa before you know it. The CEO is on this morning. Bottom line, let's bring our man, Mr. Kevin Hicks, let's on to find it. out what's going on. And, folks, if you haven't test-driven a Think or Swim platform yet, bottom line, come over to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner. Bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. They've always been on the cutting edge. Um in their platform and this one here like i was saying oh my god this, is, is, here, this right? is as good as it gets kevin hanks what's going on good morning tom good morning tommy that's right tom td ameritrade will meet you wherever it is that you hang out i'll tell you man if you hang out on alexa if you hang out on your iphone if you wherever you hang out that's where we'll be yep and it, it's it's fabulous man that's the i mean you know we go into that world and it's so quick i was going. joking i do use it i was talking about last I know, night to I, turn on some I, music I, you know i you got i have it's it's a great deal that's, right that's where the future is going for sure and the bottom line folks is that uh in the future i, I believe that he, he you, you guys are going to be the first that's for sure I, I don't know when the date is but uh it's pretty amazing man it's it's you gotta love it <laughs> and, we have and, a team of people tom that just keep innovating yes. and just keep keep producing i mean they're constantly we lock these people in a room feed them a little bit of, of, of food every night and they just in there working and working well i'll tell you folks if you have the if you have the platform you know that kevin's not kidding because what ends up happening is that you get it only takes like a minute a minute and a half but when they do an upgrade and it's almost every week a week and a half there's always something new you know, which is which is so cool man no doubt and and you know you so so now market wise you know we get a lot of numbers that are going to be coming out um sure. you know market uh, yesterday made made quite a comeback man you know we'll see where this shakes out right now but uh there's no doubt that uh you know, this market's getting tired of moving down. We'll see where this is going to shake you know, Tom, out. I was, just, I was just talking to Oliver Rennick about this exact topic, and that is the personality of a market that we're in right now, and it's, a, it's important for traders to understand the kind of market they're in. This market is not going straight up. It's not going straight down. It's a trader's market. Now, that may give heart palpitations to investors, but in terms of traders, rallies fade. Sell-offs fade. You saw a massive sell-off yesterday fade. We made back 80% of yes. what this market had lost. So these are great trading markets. They may not be the best for investors right now, but that, that'll also change without notice, right? We're going through a, a correction in this market that is, you know, it's been a good, healthy one. But, you know, earning, what made the market recover today and rally today was earning, right? Yes. Yesterday's Dow stocks, right? Three of them at midday were up. It was all three that had earnings yesterday. Those were the three Dow stocks that, that were up. So that's what's going to – that's how you got to look at these markets. This is a, a correction, a two-sided trade, but focus on earnings, and that's where people should be looking. 
And you know what's so cool, folks, is that when you have a market, a two-sided market, and we haven't had one in a long period of time, that's right. when you can actually learn so much about markets, about what you guys teach, option strategies, because, you know, we've had a one-way market for nine years. Sure. You know, so a two-way market is a great, great, it's, it's a great thing to have, you know, because, I, you know what, Kevin, I think that no matter how much all of us teach investors, it's much better after they see one, too. Because then, right. then the dynamic knows that you're not going to the moon, you're not going to hell. The bottom line is that, you know, it's about energy. You know, you make a move, you go sideways, do a correction, you make a move, you know, uh, and you can just learn so much, there's no doubt. And, and the option strategies have got so dynamic because of the fact that stocks folks in the option market, a lot of them are trading penny wide. And that's like, okay, that's about as good as you can get, you know. Yeah, that, that's what we refer to as liquidity, Tom. The ability to get in and out of trades for as little slippage as possible. Yes. That's when the retail trader or the trader sitting at home really gains an advantage or at least a level playing field. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So um, we, we're we kicking, I mean, this, this starts the, uh, well, we started off already, I mean, but earnings season, this is going to accelerate in a big way. Uh, Boeing, I just heard Tommy's update. Boeing came in with some money, huh? They did, right? Oh, my God. Not bad when you beat by yeah. a billion dollars with, um, with, with revenue. B. Exactly right. I mean, they raised all their guidance. Yeah. Their, their operating cash flow was higher. Their free cash flow was higher. And this is this company is a behemoth. Yeah. Right? They, they've got back orders for planes. They're cranking out planes both in the private sector or the, or the public sector and in the military. I mean, this is just an amazing company. I would say it must be interesting when you're part of that executive team that knows you're going to drop those types of numbers, you know, right. where you beat across the board. Um, and uh, most of the time, you get a reaction like this in the market, quite a pop, yeah. And look at so, folks, you, you, you get a company taking in $25 billion every 90 days, and we're looking at these numbers here, and they're growing by 3.5% in the United States, nine times 10% in the Middle East, 3% in China, um, Europe is the only one that's down, basically, you know? That's yeah. How. yeah, and think about this, guys. They took a $691 million charge, wow. right? But that's going towards a defense program that could return $60 billion yeah. in terms of opportunity. So that's what I'm, even, even the money they're spending is good money. You got to love it. And that's, uh, it. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, and they don't really have a competition. <laughs> it's tough, right? Yeah. Not in the U.S., right? No. For sure, let yeah. alone they... Like you know, Lockheed you, you, Martin, maybe, but that's different us, parts we, we, of... We couldn't start a defense contract. No, we need like some Boeing. capital. <laughs> yeah, slightly, man, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So what are we going to be talking about today, Kevin? Obviously, what's taking over a lot of what everyone's talking about today is Tesla. Oh, and cool. And the fact that yeah. Elon Musk moving his earnings from a week from now to today, that is, you know, here's, here's my thought for today, Tom. Don't play poker with Elon Musk. Yeah. Because when he has, you know, I, I don't know. I know nothing about the earnings report that they're about to release. Right. But I'm thinking you don't move earnings up if it's going to be negative. Uh, uh, there's no doubt about that. I yeah. would agree. Yeah. And right. that, that, that's, a great, that's a great quote, man. Don't play poker with Elon Musk. Yeah, there's no doubt. Because he is, he, when he has an advantage, he is pressing it. I don't know. So what if he's just bluffing all the time? I mean, he never has it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it's it. possible. Folks, right here, 45 minutes an hour, uh, fast market. You want to understand option, option strategies, upside down, futures. Check it out. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to showing 45 minutes minutes. Love talking to you guys. Have a great Thanks, day. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank, and get the type of interest they receive. Instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 44. You get the Nasdaq off 48, S&Ps uh, down 15. Let's go uh, inside the NDX and see what's happening there. Strength versus the weakness. So um, your strength there, you get uh, dental supply up by 1.7%. Uh, PepsiCo is up 1.5. Uh, Taken away from it, these are, these are big numbers. You get uh, maximum integrated, uh, that's down 4.5%. Texas Instruments down 4.5%. Um, ASML is down. We go back to Texas Instruments. This was pretty wild what happened with Texas Instruments last night uh, after the close. So Texas, uh, bottom line, was up $5, come out with their numbers, and then went right back down to the 95 level. Um, and watch when you see what this 95 level is, folks, okay? This has been trying to test that February low. Um, 96.69. Uh, 96.99. Yeah. And so bottom line is that this thing's going to be in trouble. You know, it, you know we'll see yep. whether it's going to break it with volume, but we're coming into that with, with big volume. Um, the pot stocks yesterday, they took a beating. Uh, well, they did take a beating about four or five days in a row. Yeah, ever yeah. since uh, Canada legalized it. Yeah. You know, you get, you get uh, canopy down from 59. You're at 41. Uh, you came down, you know, yesterday down to 36. I expect these things to actually go back to the breakout area. And the, the cool thing here, folks, is this, is that you get a high volume high of 59. If it comes back to the breakout area, man, you get a trading range that's amazing. You know, yes. the, the, the bottom of that range would be 24, the top of the range is 59. And guess what? That would make sense in the aspect of, you know, how, how much money are they gonna make? No one really knows. I mean, they, I they're, they're saying what it is, okay? But the real question is going to be, how much is going to I, come out there? They're all, um, you know, we we'll call them like arbitrary values, right? But, right. you know, Tilray being worth like $13 billion with no revenue, 
you know, some people do have a good estimation, especially the people in the company, or they're putting it out, what are they going to do? But in reality, they're just pro forma estimations. You know, anybody right. can write a, hey, this is what I'm going to do next year, and in two years, and then we're going to make a million, and then we're going to make 10 million, and we're all going to be rich, there's, right? There's this many people, I think it's going to, people. this many people are going to smoke it, or they right. have an idea how many smoke For it. For sales, they have demand, right? right. They, have, they right. have, you know, and they can make those estimations, I'm sure, off of, you know, when markets have now gone legal from being, as in oh, what they, happened in Colorado. They, they probably or go to Colorado. That's right, right. or California, right? right? Right. There's right. markets where you right. can gauge it, so, right. but they're still just gauges. Right. Oil. Let's go to oil. Okay. We got oil happening. It's Wednesday. Let's jump and over. Oil got smoked yesterday. It man. sure did. So some volatility this morning as well. I'm just going to close these out as we take a look at it. And um, yeah, so I'm going to open this up a bit. We'll find. So crude oil had spiked all the way almost down to $66 to back it up quite a day yesterday, right? That uh, we saw to the downside. We were up at $69 early yesterday morning, traded below $66. We're currently trading at $66.80. We're looking at the December contract. I yeah. jump into the spreads here. So it's 10.21. We get nine minutes until the EIA inventories drop. And we'll start things off with the 11 AMs, all right? See where these line up. Now, 66.75 is where we're sitting at right now. And we have spreads that line up you know, within a penny, which is nice, on oh, yeah. the 11 AM basis. Now, just to take a peek, so here's our bullish spread, 66.75, and we can see the contract we're trading is a few pennies above that. We're getting in at $22, which is the 22 cents above 66.75, and part of that, a couple pennies, is going to be intrinsic value, right, because we're just above the floor of that spread. And then on the flip side, here's our bearish spread. We'll be selling that. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. So we're looking at about $40. For the 11 AMs, which you need about 40 pennies away from 66.75, which is kind of right where we're trading at, which is nice. We'll jump to okay, the, so it's 40, 40 bucks. 40 bucks away yep. from 66.75. Exactly. Okay. Now what happens is, is that the noons line up a little bit differently. They give us an option of 66.50, just because the market's been jumping around so much. These are getting set every two hours when the market's opening, and so I'm just going to jump past the moment because. You know, 66, where am I, 66.50, I mean, even the bullish spread, you're going to have to pay 26, 27 cents or dollars, however you call it, of intrinsic value. So it really becomes a bullish trade. We'll jump to some of these dailies and see how they light up. So the 8 a.m. to 2.30s give you 67. Again, you're 22 cents away. And then the dailies give you 66 as an option, which is where we were trading at last night. So really the pure volatility play would be the 11 a.m., you know, if you want yeah. to make that for $40. Because even when you, once you get into the noons, just to give what the trade would be, uh, 66.50, there's your bullish side. You can see the bullish side alone is costing you $45. Yes, right. And then on the flip side, because you're pretty decently out of the money, once this loads, come on, um, this one's still costing you 12, so you're looking at 57 as opposed to 40. And if you ever got 33 cents of movement to the downside, you actually are at your max loss. So it's not really a volatility trade, right? Right. right. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens. We got 10.24. We got six minutes. Um, not bad in terms of, and as we're seeing this though, it's sticking around. It's 15 cents positive from when we started looking at it. But not bad when you've had this type of volatility over the last two days. About to get an inventory number in six minutes. Right. And you and get to find I risk. I believe they. I forget whether it was a build last night. We'll pull it up. Was it okay. a build or a draw? It was 9.5 million barrels. I think. And, you know, if you're bullish or, or bearish, you could always just make one side of the trade, too, which yes. is just to point out, you know, it's like, uh, and what did I, I have the noons up here. But the 11 a.m.s especially, you know, you're waiting for trading at 66.80. There's your 66.75. And you're only getting in... 17 cents above market for that type of defined risk of Pretty 23 cool. to 177. Right. It is. I'd love it. Yeah. 877-927-6648. We have uh, gold when we take a look at uh, some of those other commodities here. Let's see what we have happening out here. Oh, here. I want to look at the dollar first. So the dollar, folks, okay, uh, went up into the October uh, swing high. And uh, let's see if it made it. Okay. So the high is uh, 96.450. We get the 96.305. Interesting. Okay. So the number to watch now um, is going to be the low of that, which is 96.135, which it's already below. below yeah. So, and so what you're going to have is that we had volume up there. You're coming off it. Hey, we'll find out if it's going to fail on price, man. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. 
uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities out here uh, in the market uh, today. We have Marbell. Marbell, uh, they, they came out with uh, some numbers. They did. They disappointed a bit. Yeah, Verizon's blowing them away. They sure are. Uh, so Marbell's down two bucks. Uh, we were just talking about uh, Tesla. Tesla is coming out with numbers. Te Tesla right now is down 540. Yep. Uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA's really got hit, man. Well, the Texas Instruments is hitting all the yes. uh, the chip stocks. So uh, NVIDIA right now, that's down seven bucks. I think it was down 12 yesterday. So we're down 780. Yeah, this is, look at them, man. When these things go south, isn't it crazy? It is, 290 to 210 yeah. in the span of the same month. Wow. Yeah, and, we and the month not even close to over. Right, <laughs> we pull this back, ooh, Oof. that is What is one, that, a monthly? Yeah. That is nasty. It's a crazy month, I mean, to put it, it really is. Yep, and it looks to me, NVIDIA, man, 168 can be is game here. That's quite a bearish engulfing. I've never seen bearish engulfing engulf like every single bar going back. Seriously, <laughs> man. <laughs> if, if you're a candlestick guy, uh, woman, folks, you want to look at this, Especially man. Especially because those it's, bars leading up to it are all big bars. I mean, it just oh, went yeah. from, you know, in the last two years, 100 to 300, and then in a month it goes down to 200. Oh, totally. Yeah. Watch this, watch some of this stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's what are we looking different. at there? We're looking at a weekly. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Thank you. Jason Path has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at TFNN.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex, or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil, what do we got? We got the number. So oil inventory is rising. Crude, 6.35 million barrels. Gas inventory is falling, 4.83. I believe the expectation had been, at least from the Bloomer users, expecting a gain of 5.7, so a little bit more oil than they had expected. We'll jump back to the chart. And, uh, yeah, a little bit, uh, well, no. Look at that, it popped higher and then. Yeah, so we were trading just about 66.80, and, yeah, it jumped right up to 67.20 on that number initially, and we've already pulled back about 20 cents um, from that number. And, again, to recap, the ones we were looking at, in particular, the 11 a.m. 60, 675 would have been our point that we needed volatility away, away from. Away from, yeah. Yeah. So if you had some some quick fingers, it did jump up there almost to a break even to the top side, right? You'd be needing about 67.20 exactly to the top side for about $45. Right. Cost us about 40, so really 67.15, which is 40 cents away from 66.75. Uh, but that just uh, got pulled back pretty quickly, and we'll see where that goes. I'm telling you. Let's go to our man, Mike in uh, Loveland. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, guys. Morning, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing great. I just wanted, I looked at uh, Deutsche Bank, and I couldn't believe it. It just blew out its uh, floor. So I wanted to just bring it to your attention, that's all. Yeah, they're having a tough morning, too. Look at this. So you get the low, uh, it's today, $10.21. The high is 20 um, they came out with their earnings, I believe. Look at this, man. Not good. You guys know all about their derivatives exposure, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you get, yeah, well, tough. actually, 998. See, 998 wants to get tested. That's the low of September of 2016. Might hit that today. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, hey, listen, bottom line is that uh, you're going to have, Ang Angela Merkel's going to have to save them. That's, that's how that's going to come down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. also wanted to let you guys know that you were partly responsible for inspiring me to uh, create a uh, YouTube channel. So thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Good, good for you, I've man. Got 40, I've got 43 subscribers. <laughs> Mike, now you're, you're, in, you're in the car business, right? Uh, no, financial advisor. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. And there's another, okay, that's awesome, man. Good. Good, good, good for you, you man. Make it happen. I, I've been doing kind of a very... Uh, Let's say uh, basic charts for clients and potential yeah. clients, so that uh, you know they they see me going. Wow, my other financial advisor, he just buys and holds. He he doesn't care about the market. Yeah, no, they so, can get an understanding of it. YouTube is great, man. They, it is. Well, you know, it's, it's you know, been it, fun. It, you know, it's amazing in your business, right? So picture that um, for years, folks. Okay. The, you know, there's all rules and regulations, of course, when they're in the financial, regulated financial business. And they never uh, paid attention to technical analysis. And what happened, I believe it's almost about 10 years ago now, Mike, right? They put a rule in that bottom line is that advisors actually supposed to know about this now. But it's, they've never basically pushed it out that much. Do you know what I mean? Because I remember when it happened, I said, well, this is really different. Do you know what I mean? That the the aspect of technical analysis inside the aspect of you know what's in that book in order to get your license and the whole ball of wax do you know what i mean and it's like yeah. they, they they they've let it lay there and they 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 have they haven't pushed it but uh, that was that was different when they changed that whole deal up they didn't change it they added it to whatever else is that advisors are supposed to basically you know know you know, so yeah i wanted to get my uh Chartered market technician uh, designation in a yeah. year or two. That basically, there's like three levels of that. You know, basically, it just it's a technical analysis sure. certification. Yeah. So I thought, hey, you know, I, I probably know most of the first level, you know, and uh, it's probably just MACD and patterns and stuff. But I guess there's three levels, and it, I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'd say you probably know know it all. I've been to those meetings in New York before. Have you been there when we were doing the shows? No. Yeah. You know, um, it, I suspect you probably know it all. But, but that's yeah. great. It, it, listen, it makes a difference. You know, you know, it's amazing. Like, I remember yeah. when I was doing a workshop uh, with John Murphy in 2000. And it is this cut and dry, folks, okay? You know, technical analysis is basically... You know, you know, fundamentals, you listen to the CEO. Technical analysis, you're, theory wise, you're looking at, okay, where's the supply and where's the demand? Okay, so it's an art, not a science. That's the real bottom line. 
Um, John Murphy, he, he, started, he, he started the workshop, and he says, hey, listen, man, wait, I can go through everything, but guess what? If you just stay with the 50-day moving average over a long period of time, you're going to do all right. And I've watched it, and it really is pretty cool. Do you know what I mean? For a longer-term investor, it's, sure. it's, it's a fact. Do you know what I mean? It's sure. like, okay, man, you pay attention. Like, if you get a choppy market, those things will kill you. You know what I mean? Because it's back and forth, back and forth. But you know, you you turn around and here, watch. I, I'll just if I just put this up with Amazon, and you see when you get trends, how bizarre it can get. Okay, so if I put that on, watch. I put that on a five-year, and then. I just put, I'm just going to put the 50 on there, get rid of everything else. And you can see how dramatic this can actually get. Not that I'm not pushing the, the thing of a 50-day moving average, but when you're talking, you know, you can, you can see that it's pretty cool, man. Sure. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. Uh, you know, and that, yeah, that's they, they, it. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's that just the guy. John Murphy knows so much about technical analysis, and that's how he started the workshop, which right. was great because it was great for everyone. You know, you don't have to study like for hours and days and days. I Puts mean, in context, sure. exactly. Getting yeah. into it, you know. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to technical analysis, I, uh, I, I basically put most of my clients in safe stuff on October fourth on Thursday. Yeah. The fourth, and then the following Wednesday, when we dropped eight hundred points, I was. One of the happiest guys on the planet. That's yes. awesome. It's huge. So, Not only that, it's going to hey, get, hey. yeah, get you a lot more business. Thanks, guys. Let okay, man. Have forward. a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, Mike. Take care, man. Thanks. So uh, market-wise out here, folks, uh, you get the uh, Dow Industrials um, down 26, Nasdaq's down 49, S&P's are up 14 and a half. I suspect it looks like uh, probably Boeing is saving the Dow, you know, because uh, you can see the NDX is uh, weak. Oh, quite a number, yeah. Yeah. Let's check back on oil real quick. So. Quite a pullback still, just jumping 67.20. We're now sitting basically right where we were before those numbers came out. Look at that. And to jump back, if we, uh, let's just pull up. I want to break down some of those, um, the numbers more in depth, because it was interesting that we got the gas build. Where are we? There we go. Um, excuse me, we got the oil build, but yes. we got a gas pullback. Um, so crude, the median estimate was even lower than that. So Bloomberg users were above where the median. Median was 3.7, came in at 6.3. Yeah, look at gasoline, though. A draw of 4.8 estimate was only about 1.7. So those two might be colliding a little bit yes. to, to bring the market back in uh, right where we were. The stilts is on the same. That's heating oil. Okay, yeah. 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 And uh, utilization pretty close. The full breakdown beneath. But nonetheless, we're right back to where we were. Quite a day yesterday. Maybe oil just taking a moment to digest everything after being down three dollars yesterday. Yeah, big time. Yeah. So if we go inside the uh, Dow Industrials, you'll see uh, this is where it's pretty amazing. Oh, big, big number. Yep, no doubt. You got. Look at oh, that's funny. Bones only putting 50 points in, and it's yeah. up that much. Wow. Yeah. So Bo Boeing's putting 50 positive points. Home Depot 16. Procter & Gamble 11. Taking away from it, United Technologies minus 25. Disney minus 19. 3M minus 15. Big Mac tried, uh, minus uh, 13. Big Mac yesterday. Holy cow. Up $10. And, yeah. and that was a move, man. Yep. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. 
Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow down 55, Nasdaq's off 53, S&Ps are off 15 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can find Teddy every trading day, folks, at forextrading.unlocked. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. Morning, Teddy. Well, we, we get a lot of movement in these currency markets, that's for sure. We have a U.S. dollar rally going on right now. Yeah. Well, it, 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 I, I just saw it, that index just hit the uh, October high, so we'll see what the, if that baby is going to hold. What do you think? I think that the U.S. dollar rally is going to push on into the next couple of days right now. Okay. I mean, you have the U.S. dollar Swiss, which is right below parity, so I like the, uh, the 99.75 and 99 quarter uh, strike prices for uh, want to trade like the Nadex, if you're looking at those levels. Yes. You're definitely going to, I think, breach the parity level. And then once you get above there, I mean, as far as a target, I would say maybe you get to a, a buck oh fifty, maybe, you know, and before you see a little sell off, you know, which is most likely going to happen at that point. But this dollar rally is probably going to push into the end of the week right now. And what do you what are you thinking on the end? On the end, I think that the yen is going to be under pressure. I think the U.S. dollar yen has probably got a good shot at probably making a climb back up to the one thirteen level if okay. this dollar rally holds, because this is against all the majors right now. This is not just a one-on-one uh, -on -one currency thing. This is just a dollar against everything. Because if you look at the euro, U.S. dollar, right now with everything that's going on with the Italian government and the budget, they can't balance it. Sure. So the, the euro, U.S. dollar isn't under pressure because of that, the budget issue, because that's not the biggest issue over there in the, in the EU. Um, it's the dollar right now, which is a thing. Yeah, I know. It's intriguing, man. You know, a U.S. dollar... Uh, basically is jamming <laughs> a lot of markets around the world. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the emerging markets forget. I mean, what happens, folks, is that uh, we'll see where this uh, baby goes, but the, you know, in India, the rupee, man, they've got killed. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's pretty intense. I mean, we, and we, actually, we actually look at it. You know, what's intriguing, when, when, I, when I just look at the index itself, um, Teddy, is that the each time that we've actually get up to these levels, you know, there's been a seller up here. So I, I guess sure. we'll see where this shakes out. But we've been here for a long period of time, even though folks, you know, 
say that the dollar's gone tremendously higher. Actually, when you, when you actually, when you look at it, it's like, okay, we've been sitting here. I think we've been sitting here for about four months now. Absolutely. That's what we're doing is we're just kind of buffering these this area again, you know. So it's not like we're in uncharted territory. And I think you, if you look at the sell-off right now in the equity markets globally, and now you see that the uh, the break that we've had in, in crude oil, which is, seems to be sustainable right now, versus you know two weeks ago everyone was crying for a hundred dollar oil. I mean, really, with the with the supplies that we have now in gasoline and oil, I don't think a hundred dollars is remotely a target for. Good. Well, yeah, and you know what's interesting is that the, the XLE, the large uh, integrated oil equities, have been saying that for a long time. I mean, Exxon, Mobil, and Chevron, they just couldn't, they couldn't move, man. And it's like, why? Every time I kept looking at them, saying to myself, and that was when oil was at 75. Sure. It's like, okay, you know, if, if Exxon and Chevron can't make money handle a fist that oil is 75, you know, the market is basically the market well the market was right yeah <laughs> the, and then we're back to 66 and exactly market, right? Exactly, right? exactly yeah totally you know the um when we're, when we're up at these levels right you know if a, a bust through this level would really uh basically raise havoc uh, in the euro wouldn't it you know uh, I yeah i think so I, mean, like, I think yeah I think that the euro has a good chance of still getting back down into like the 108, 109 area. Yeah. I think short short term, I think 113, lower 113 handle is very likely over the next like couple days, definitely into Monday. Um, but once you get down to that 108 level, that's when everybody starts cr crying for parity in the euro US dollar. And the euro is just still ultimately too strong right now for it to get to those levels. So that's when you're going to see the real reversal of the dollar where that's when the sell-off happens in the dollar and the other currencies get their bounce. And what about the pound? I mean, you know, we've talked about this before, but I, I guess the, the pound is something that could come out of nowhere if they get any type of news with the Brexit, right? Oh, for sure. For sure. I think short term that you're going to see the pound ride support a little bit back to the 129 down to maybe 128.50 level. Okay. But that's about it. I think that the, the, Bre the Brexit thing is not about not negotiating. It's just a matter of closing things. And ultimately, we've seen between the EU and, and the UK is that they're working together. There's no obstruction, really. You know, it's just a matter of how to keep it balanced in lieu of everything else that they're dealing with as well. The people in the UK got to be kind of flipped out, though. I mean, because from when Brexit first started to where it is now, they've lost a lot of value, man. Sure. You know, it's like you know, it seems that I remember the pound many times. Like you're talking about a buck fifty, a buck sixty, and it's laying down there in the low twenties. So sure. it's like okay, pretty wild. Yeah. Um, That's also as the dollar turns right now. The dollar's been so strong. Yes. What happened? I mean, we, we, we're li this is the first time that the strength in the dollar has existed over the past year, especially. I mean, you look at back um, 10, 15 years ago, no matter what the Federal Reserve did or the federal government did, they couldn't fight to protect the dollar under any circumstances, which was good because it held, helped our economy when it was weak because our exports were strong. Now we have a strong economy where our dollar, we're not trying to be, be dollar protectionist, and it's just a running bull, you know. So, and well, it's going to be key to watch our export numbers over the next couple months, how that may be affected. Okay. Because yeah, I, I remember John Snow so well. Uh, bottom line, folks, he used to continually say, we want a strong dollar. And that's when the index went from 120 down to 80. <laughs> it's like every time he yapped that he wanted a strong dollar, it kept getting lower and lower and lower. It's it, crazy. It was, it was bizarre. Yeah. It really was bizarre, man. You know, we, I, you know, the... His rap would be that we always want a strong dollar, and it's like, okay, you know, so not too much action. So, hey, you get any workshops coming up? What are you doing? Um, well, you know what? We had the FIA Expo uh, last week. That oh, yeah. was really good, and uh, I am working on a couple events now. Uh, I'm working with some the Nadex guys. I'm planning one and a couple other companies, so I'll definitely be uh, filling you in on that one. Um, we just started the chat room on StockTwits um, that just uh, got approved the other day, so that's open now to uh, interact with uh, Forex Trading and a lot of followers and stuff like that. So, cool. uh, yeah, nice. I'll keep you posted on that. Nice. Not a good thing on the burner right now. Well, yeah. you got a market for it, man. you got plenty to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. It's like the weather in Boston or Chicago, right? Wait a second, yeah, it's going to change. Some, there's some bad weather heading their way, right? Well, 
you, I get that World Series game last night. They were at 40, 40 degree temperatures uh, to start the World Series, which is they? pretty intense. Yeah. yeah, that 40 degrees holding a bat. And That's what they're talking about. The pitchers, oh, everything. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. it matters. Some of the pitchers. I mean, they're coming from uh, L.A. Their their coldest games were like 59 degrees, and you start the World Series, and it's in the 40s. Yeah, <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah. yeah. Ball does we would freeze in the 40s right now, now ourselves, yeah. for we're, sure. We're, we're not used to that. Now little babies. <laughs> we're not used to that at all. Thank Fa goodness. 40 used to be beautiful. 40 now would be like, the new give 40. me a break. Exactly. exactly. I get frost this morning in Chicago. Yeah. Oh, do you? Okay. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to speaking to you next week, Teddy. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Teddy. Teddy. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's down 106. NASDAQ's off 61. S&P's are down 21. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, and now uh, we go over and look at Ma Bell. Uh, bottom line, folks, uh, it is pretty wild. It's, uh, it's down to $2.44 today. Uh, I'm look, you're looking at a 20-year um, monthly chart, and what's dangerous here is that, uh, you know, you're at $30, and what's holding it up is a high-volume buy going all the way back to the uh, lows of 08. The high of that is uh, $29.37. The low uh, is 2090. you know. So if we barrel into that, uh, you know, 
two or three more points, then game is downtown. Pretty amazing. Oil. Let's go uh, back into that oil chat. Look, we were just looking at it. it was right back to where we had started. Yeah. So uh, essentially, that one contract we were looking at had 66.75 and quite a spike to the upside right on the news. But in the last about half hour we've had, and these contracts we're looking at do expire at 11 a.m. So you'd only have about five minutes. Uh, pulling right back to that 66.75. So that would be your max loss. You do have about $10 right now. So as in 10 cents away from that price point. So you would have some value upon expiration, but not the kind of action you'd want making right. a volatility right. trade where it was basically, you know, right where we're at. Uh, and most times, too, when we do these, we have folks you have the 11s and the 12s. So you just don't have one. Yeah, you know? and you had them this time. They just didn't right. line up in the same way. Um, but, yeah, because this market isn't going to stop moving at uh, no. 11 a.m., right? No. We'll see where it There's goes. There's no doubt. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, if we go over the E-minis for a second and take a look at the E-minis, the market's having a tough time holding price, folks. Um, you know, you're down to 20 bucks uh, inside the uh, ESC8. There we go. So, you know, you, bottom line is that, uh, you know, the lows of yesterday were down there at uh, 26.93, it looks like, 92. Um, nice comeback, uh, but guess what? Yeah. You, you're pushing into the, basically, you know, the 50% retracement of that whole move. So, yeah. We're hold, hold on for volatility. We're 25 points off the high. That's yeah, a big one. Totally. Stay right there, folks. we got fast market coming up. Then I'm at Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wee! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.